Hey everyone, Pete Moody. Good morning. And today's message or video, if you will, um, is are you treated like the lepers of the world? Now, if you know about leprosy back in the Bible days, they were considered unclean. People didn't want to be around them. You were forbidden to be around them for a certain amount of time. Just like if a woman had her, and excuse me for saying her cycle, uh, she was considered unclean and you could not be around her for a certain amount of time. So, um, this video the Lord placed on our heart because people in this world are treated like lepers. They are treated like the lepers of the world. Not that they so much so have leprosy um, in the physical, but they are treated as such where they might be rejected for being indifferent, for being uh, not what the world would claim as their own Um they submit their lives to the Lord. They submit to God. And some of the things that they do, they might feel like, oh, it's so extreme or because they don't understand. So they're treated like lepers. They, people write them off. They don't want to deal with them. They, even if they're autistic, even um, because people don't understand them. So they treat them a certain kind of way. Um, they don't treat them with kindness and compassion so that's what this video is about. All of you who are rejected, who are treated like the lepers of the world. And you may even be um, on the spectrum as well, as my husband um, has high functioning uh, autism and he can speak about that. But for people who are treated different and maybe you think you're different, maybe someone told you you were different or they just treat you different because you, again, you chose God over the world. That is what this video is for. Just know that God loves you, that he will shelter you with his wings. He will cover you and be your protection. He loves and accepts you. So no matter what the world thinks, no matter what they claim as uh, the norm or what is normal to them, because what's normal to them for us in the body of Christ, it seems un unnatural because we go according to the will of God, to his commandments and his decrees and his laws that he left for us. We follow that. So People may think that we are strange, but we're looking at them and we are viewing them the same way because we follow the law of God. We follow Jesus. We follow our Heavenly Father, our Messiah, and the Holy Spirit. And people who do not, they just don't understand the language. It's like it's different for them. They don't understand why we do the certain things. When they come into the knowledge of who Jesus Christ is, our Lord and Savior, and who God the Father, Abba Father is, then they come to understand and they look back and say, oh, when I criticized this person, or, oh, when I did this and that, it was because I didn't understand. But as Corinthians says, when you put away childish, th childish, excuse me, childish things, that's when you mature and you grow. And then you start to see things in the frame that it was meant to be seen in. And um, a lot of people are lost. They're looking for something. They're looking, they turn to, you know, drugs or music or not worship music but like secular music where it um you know it just takes the very heart of their soul it just it contaminates it it makes it unclean and, and dirty and not that any of us are clean because we're not we're still as filthy rags even though jesus christ died for us and we are washing the blood of the lamb and baptized in the holy spirit but still we will never be as clean as we should be because only grace is clean and grace is God. Grace is Jesus Christ. He is clean. He is pure. We can try all we want uh, to be holy as he is holy and as we should, but we'll never be to the same power amount that God our father is, the Alpha and the Omega. We will never, none of us as human beings, we will not ever, but we still are to do what he says. We still are to do what Jesus says to live holy and righteous lives, modest lives, being clothed in humility and strength, integrity, dignity, wisdom, honor, understanding, not quarreling with one another, not foul abusive uh, language, but uplifting each other up in psalms and spiritual hymns and things of that nature, speaking of these things on the roads and wherever we are. That's what we are to do for the lepers of the world. We might even be <laughs> called the lepers of the world because we are we were rejected in many things. And as I'm sure that you all were rejected in many things, but take heart and know that Jesus is with us. He is in us. God is with us. The Holy Spirit is the greatest teacher who will teach us all things, even when we don't have someone physically to show us the way. That is the helper 
that the Lord our God left when he went on to be with the Father and seated at the right hand of the Father. So uh, for those who are rejected, babe, do you want to speak more on uh, the autism part of it? All right. For the um, autism part, part of it is just that here's the thing. Okay, yes, granted, there there are foundations that, that, that do help and support people with autism. However, but out, outside of that, the, the world re- rejects rejects the people who are on the spectrum because they don't understand it. And even when you try to understand it, they still won't, won't accept it. So now, so being what that said, now it's a matter matter of the only one that did, really does accept you is God, God and, and the Lord Almighty, because because they because they designed you that that way, because they have a purpose and a plan for you. So don't think because you have autism that there's something wrong with you. No, God God made you that way for a reason. Although 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 you you will although you will face some challenges, but just know that with the Lord your God by by your side, He will get you through it. And that's all I gotta say. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. And that's right. And he can speak on that because of the fact that he um, has high functioning autism. And though if you met him, you wouldn't even know that he he does. He does so many things. He's kept jobs for years and years. He does great work and they always make him a part of the company. He knows things. You know that you're like, how would you even know that? You know, he, they're very intellectual. They're very intelligent and smart. So if anyone thinks, oh, they don't know or they don't understand, that's not even true. They surpass the limits that are put on them because God allows them to. They can do all things through Christ who strengthens them and you as well. And if you know anyone who is on the spectrum, then, you know, we send you our love as well. We are with you and we believe that God can use you to do anything. If you have family members, friends, we stand with you brothers and sisters on the spectrum. God bless you all. P. Moody. Moody. Have a great day, guys, and be encouraged. God bless. God bless.